hi guys as we have pro as we had promised in the last video let's look at the solutions well hopefully you would have completed uh, yours as class activities okay so let's go through them together all right uh, again we're factorizing so by grouping so we're going to be grouping the first two terms so let me group the first two terms oh sorry let's group the first two terms so 4pr plus 3qr is the first two terms and that there's a minus sign here so that will separate the sign that's here will separate the last two terms so now quickly this implies this implies that uh, we're going to take out what is common to 4pr and 3qr and when we look there's a r there that is common so I'm taking out that open bracket and I'm going to say 4 sorry r into 4pr r will cancel r so I'm left with a 4p okay and plus respect my sign so I bring down my plus sign and I'm going to say r divided into 3qr r will cancel r so I'm left with a 3q okay close my bracket there's a negative sign here I'm going to bring it down and I'm going to say now let's take out what is common to 4ps minus 3qs and when I look the only thing that's common is an s so I'm going to take out that after I've taken out what is common I open I open my bracket sorry about that let's just cancel that good now I'm going to say s into 4ps and that's going to be lead, that's I'm going to left with what 4p okay and respect my sign but I have a negative sign here and if you notice I have a negative s so I'm going to say a negative s into a negative 3qs that will leave me with a positive s will cancel s so I'm left with 3q okay and it's as simple as that now I factorize my terms by grouping now as I've said to, to ensure that we're on the right track we're going to just double check and when we look inside this bracket I have the same thing here as here there's a 4p plus 3q and I have a 4p plus 3q so that simply means that we're on the right track now to finish this uh, question then we're going to be combining what's on the outside so and just rewrite what's inside one of the brackets so I'm going to open brackets I'm going to rewrite what's inside one of my brackets so I have a 4p plus 3q close bracket and then I'm going to open bracket and I'm going to have a r I'm taking what's out there which is a r and combined it with what's here minus s okay and that's my answer okay guys and as I've always said when when and uh, when a number or an algebraic expression anything at all you're working with and you're factorizing when it's completely factorized it's left in the form something times something because uh, when you multiply if you should expand these brackets and maybe I try it in this video for you if we have enough time and you'll see that we would get back the original problem that we started out with okay but for now just let's go on and complete the second exercise okay so number four again I am going to group my terms I'm pairing up so I'm pairing up the first two terms and I'm pairing up my last two terms okay so this implies I'm going to look at what is common to both p square and minus 7p and if you notice we have a p here and a p there so this implies this implies that p is common okay open bracket and p into p square p will cancel p so I'm left with p minus positive into a negative will give me a negative 7 okay minus 7 close my bracket I have a positive sign here so I'm going to bring it back down and I'm going to say 3 HP minus 21 H I'm asking myself what is common so first I'm going to look at the numbers okay so I have a 3 here and a 21 here so I'm going to say then 3 can go into itself once 23 can go into 21 seven times so 3 is common to both 3 HP and 21 H so I take out my 3 then I'm going to look at my letters and I'm going to say HP 
what is common to this? I have a H here and a H there. So also H is common. Okay. So now I have taken out what is common and 3H is common. So I'm going to open my bracket and I'm going to say 3H into 3HP. 3H will cancel 3H. So I'm left with P. A positive into a negative now will give me a negative. And three, I, I'm, I'm taking them out individually. I'm saying 3 into 21 goes 7 times. And H will cancel H. Okay? So close my bracket. If you notice again, I have the same thing. P minus 7 inside this bracket. And I also have P minus 7. So to completely factorize this algebraic statement, I must now come. Um, rewrite what's inside one of my brackets so I have P minus 7 close brackets and I'm just going to open another bracket and I'm going to combine what's on the outside okay so I have a P over here and I have a plus 3 H right there and that is my answer and it's that easy okay uh, if you're still not clear, you can always comment on the video and if you have a question, feel free to ask and we'll try to respond as soon as possible. Thank you and bye.